All right, so we're gonna talk a little bit more about headlights and go through the steering wheel. So you have automatic headlights and high beams. So this guy right here, it says it's on because we can tell by the orange light and it's in auto. And these symbols on the screen, this guy, the, oops, sorry, the, the A and that, that means that your automatic headlights are on. Um, and automatic high beams are also on too. That is what that little symbol with the A means. You'll also see that same symbol right here. So this dictates whether or not the automatic high beams are on the truck. So if you tap it, notice how that logo goes away. So now it's just gonna be automatic headlights. But if you want automatic high beams as well, you just go ahead and give that a tap right there and you'll see that pop up on the screen. Then of course we have our windshield wiper controls right here and steering, or sorry, windshield wiper fluid. All right, so our steering wheel right here. On the back, we do have paddle shifters, as you can see, um, but we also have buttons. I don't know if you can, yep, okay, there you go. So the top one is to change the channel, and so is the bottom one, it just it's different direction. And then the same situation on the right-hand side, and that is for changing the volume so you don't have to fiddle around with this while you're driving. Um, so all of this stuff right here is going to be for the adaptive cruise control for the most part. This is your gap adjust. So each time you tap that, it changes the approximate car length between you and another vehicle. Pressing this button will get, oh, sorry, just went away. Um, this lets you know that the vehicle is ready to have adaptive cruise set. And then as soon as you wanna set it, you toggle this guy down to where it says set. And then your set speed will display right there and your current speed will display right there. Uh, this is your heated steering wheel. This stuff right here, this is all for kind of like the entertainment controls. That's to talk to the truck and a phone call. If you have a phone call coming in, this wheel, I don't know if you could hear that, that also acts as a button. There will be a check mark that pops up and that's what you would use. Uh, but anyway, so these arrows right here change the information that's being displayed on that screen. So these side arrows dictate what chapter you're on. And then you use the little scrolly wheel to go through whatever is available on that chapter. So we can have lots of different pieces of information up there. We can change how our displays look. So there's a lot of really cool things to play around with in here. Uh, this screen, the general information screen, I find to be the most important. And if you notice on this side right here, that just goes to show you how many different options you have to look at in terms of information on that screen. So we have tire pressure, driver assistance, oil life, brake pad life and stuff like that. So it's pretty cool.